we've got Game Genie on Sceptile versus Paper Sack on Weavile. Now, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Um, at least from the perspective of someone who uh, has looked into possibly pocketing either of these characters. Um, Weavile seems like a very bait and punish uh, type of character. Uh, Sceptile, kind of similarly, has a lot of tools to win just about every neutral interaction in the game, but still falls for the trap nonetheless. Helps out the back up with the two lines. Oh, Ooh, barely whiffs the Giga Drain. Gets hit by the neutral knockoff. Oh my goodness, did he, did this man just take throw with Rotom? Let's go. Let's go. Absolute madman. Corner hitting the homings. Try the corner. Has a crash. Schwa again. Forcing Genie to back up. We got a nice conversion off that Mimikyu. Not quite a full combo though. Still under a phase. Oh. Just barely, uh, Pip Sack barely grabs Genie on the landing of that. Fancy footwork from Paper Sack, being able to just barely dodge, uh, dodge out everything Genie is throwing at her. And gets a counter Pierce Oki. And that was a crit, too? Did he try to grab that? Man. <laughs> madman. Absolute madman. Well, the Rotom does snag. Oh. Mm. That did, like, no stun. I believe that was his four Y to snag the first base. Very nice tap counter. Law is just a really good tool for uh, being a really good tool for Paper Sack here, but Genie able to get some nice conversions off of any little hit he gets in neutral. Tried to go for the Azuna drop, maybe calling out a maybe calling out a knockoff. But oh my goodness, tries to grab the burst, but barely timed a bit too late. Ooh. Still dealing with a very angry mobile. I'm calling out Rotom. Oh, you're just gonna grab. Just grab. Alright, Genie now in burst. Trying not to die with a full stick of butter, I respect that. Jumps out of the uh enemy cube. Oh my goodness, he does hit the burst. Didn't quite see what Paper Sack was doing there. Maybe just caught her off guard. But either way, that's going to be some really nice damage. Oh, was she trying to attack? That looks like a crit. Um, oh my goodness, the tick throw. That's going to snag out uh, round two, game one. I do I do like these tick throws that Genie is throwing out. I don't think I've seen a single raw grab aside from the Azuna drop. What's that actually called? No so, idea. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Never mind, this is all one raw grab. One more raw grab there. And that's two thirds of his health already gone in one dual phase. Just off the back of one or two crits. Got the deck out, pressure out, but does get snuffed by a counterattack, fully charged. Jump off the main two again in the air. Ooh, got her knocked back into the uh, into the trap. Very nicely done. But he's at the safety burst for uh, getting him scared, getting him to block. That's a grab. And barely snuffs out the counter attack to grab uh, Leaf Storm. Thank you, Red Guard. Thank you. Uh, Paper Sack will take game one of this set. Very quick homing attack to snag the field phase early. 
this I can't sit corner already, but uh, very defensive play from both of these uh, both of these players. As I said earlier, um, both of these seem to be uh, very very heavily neutral based characters uh, from my perspective. But mm. check the throw back in advantage. Knocks out the counter attack. Not, mm, see, Game Genie's not committing to anything too dangerous, but one little mistake is enough to give Paper Sack the opportunity for some big damage. Paper Sack and Burst against the corner. Not a good situation right here. Hanging okay, there. Yep. Down to 6 HP in a dream. And one little projectile is gonna uh, gonna snag the round. Paper sack sitting on set point. But Game Genie going to once again going in for the very fast uh, home attack. Got her against the corner again. Got Rotom off CD. Got almost a full uh, full burst gauge. Paper sack as well recovering a lot of hurt very quickly. Once again, Game Genie not really committing to much, but the one thing he does commit to, and Paper Sack has had an answer for consistently throughout this game, but one little bit of patience pays off, uh, just grabbing the, uh, grabbing the charge counter. Oh, Tom Kett's giving speed debuff. Got the projectile pressure. Oh, but he lets go of it, not shielding. Opportunity. Ooh, that's a critly play gonna go into Giga Drain. Very nicely done. He is sitting on first. Oh, that would have been such a great time to burst. So we're here. Oh my god, please burst. <laughs> please. Oh no. Lost the butter and against the corner. Looks like I could have done something off that wall spot, but oh does. Crit the grab two two crits in a row against the grabs. Or dash and grab going to knock down a bit of that health. Finally bursting to even out some of that health. Gonna time her out maybe. Timer. Yep, yeah. there it is. Well, very nicely done by Genie. Right. There's Axe still sitting on match point, but situation reverse. Uh, now she has the burst advantage and has moved two off of CD. Taunt connects, gonna cross that up, going against the corner now. Not opting for the counter for Noki, but spacing him out with these uh, ice skull crashes is going to make Giga Drain with. Alright, that Rotom is barely gonna get blocked. Stepping against the corner again with Mimikyu, and that's, that's a phase shift. Very high on DSP, not going to be up much off that, but back in the corner again, back into burst. One little hit is enough for a full conversion, and the grab! Down to 40, down to 10 HP. Not much resource to help him. Here's Zach will take this 2 and a. Oh no, I have to fight Paper Sack now. You do, but I think you'll get